Where's the Android love, you ask? Well, I've got you covered. Now, obviously, Android is really big right now, but when you go out and you try to find a dock for your iPhone, iPod, predominantly for iOS, obviously, we don't really see many Android ones. We never see one on the show, that's for sure, until right now, because Philips have come up with something to spread the Android love. Android users, you may be the biggest market in the entire world, but you probably feel very hard done by in terms of peripheral accessories for your device of choice. Now, this is especially apparent in comparison to the iPhone, because everywhere you go, you'll see this for the iPhone, a speaker system, an arcade cabinet, you name it, they probably have it. Problem with Android, though, is there are just so many different Android devices. They don't have the same linear structure which Apple has over their iPhone products because they're the only ones that manufacture it. Therefore, all these third-party accessories made by other people are very, very easy to make. However, this is where Philips have come in with their Fidelio series. Now, this obviously is a speaker system for a multitude of Android devices, the AS851. The question is, how does it do so? Does it work very well? Let's find out. So how does this connect your Android device? Well, firstly, this little stand right here that you can see, well, the music is not transmitted via micro USB. It actually does so via Bluetooth. So this allows you to charge your device whilst you're listening to your music. Uh, obviously, it's great for overnight use, etc. if you like falling asleep to music, like some people do. So if I didn't want to put it on, I don't have to. I can just keep my phone, my Android phone right there and just use everything via Bluetooth. Now, this only comes in a micro USB format and almost all Android phones are currently using that. So if you have an older one or one that does not have micro USB, just take note, charging will not work for you. Now, of course, the structure of an Android phone differs from model to model. Sometimes the micro USB is at the side. In this case, it's at the bottom, so it's rather easy to slot it on and start charging like that. Now, I'm not gonna put it on right now because I wanna show you exactly how it works. You can, of course, have it on its side, but what if it's there? That's where the ingenious part comes in. This conveyor belt of sorts allows you to move the dock here at the bottom in order to plug in your micro USB. So your phone could have a charge point right here. It can still fit in right smack bang in the center thanks to the fact that you can move this along. Now, if you're worried about it being the other way around, you can actually flip this around 180 degrees as well. So, this little thing right here is a little standee which you have to roll up. Now, that is actually really tedious. I'm not liking that one bit, but it allows you to stabilize your device. And I'm not gonna sit here and roll this out for you, but you get the general gist of it. It just takes a really long time and I was very frustrated using that, to be honest, and to roll it down again. Now, there's no real locking mechanism or anything. It'll just stay there, and that's about it for that. Now, as for the actual design of this device, nice little metal on the front. Yeah, it feels strong, it feels steady, but at the back, it's just plastic, and it's not particularly appealing, and it'll just attract fingerprints like I've just done there. So the whole design build, not that great, but I'll certainly get the job done. So what about the actual sound quality? Obviously, that's what matters the most. And for something this size, I have to say it does a pretty decent job. I'm not gonna say it's great for something like bass, but it does do a semi-good job at some rock stuff and some dance music. Now, another thing I have not talked about, which can be also very irritating, is the app that comes with it. Now, this is a free download from the Play Store. They've just released an updated version. So I'm just gonna open it up there. It's called Doc Studio, and this allows you to control everything that needs to be done. Now, the moment you, I actually plug it into that micro USB point though, it will actually launch for me. It'll also turn my Bluetooth on for me. So in that respect, it's rather easy to use. You can control everything here. Now, I don't think it looks that nice, but this creates the interface needed to make this stand out even more. For example, you have the clock there. So and if this is here like that, there's a clock. 
this temperature, etc., and the date. So it gives it a user interface on the front when it's plugged in. Now, what I didn't like was every time I plug this into my charger at home, it launches that app, which is very, very frustrating in the aspect that it doesn't understand what it's plugged into. So I would be really keen to just delete that, to be honest, for that simple reason. Um, I have to say that the app could really be refined as well. Like I just showed you, it's not particularly clean. I can't even make out what the clock says. So very, very frustrating. So what do I think about this at the end of the day? Well, due credit to Philips because there are about 200 million Android phones out there, a lot of different models. It is practically impossible to really just build one device that can suit every single Android device out there. For example, the moment your phone does not have a micro USB port on it, you can't really use this for what it's meant for. So that's a bit of a bummer. Um, this, I haven't even shown you as a remote, at least that looks nice, so you can stick it right there. And from the front, this does look nice as well, but like I said, the back, this whole plastic fingerprint magnet is not so appealing. Um, the sound quality, it is okay, but what we saw previously from Philips for the iOS devices is so much better, I have to say. It's so much easier to use. Not to say that I struggle to use it, I just find it very tedious and frustrating. And you can easily see why manufacturers concentrate on using Bluetooth devices, focusing solely on that to become a music player for your Android device. Haven't even touched on tablets, but yeah, you can stick a tablet on there. But if you really want this, firstly, make sure it's compatible with whatever Android device that you have, be it an Android tablet or an Android phone, or just focus on finding Bluetooth-only device, because that'll probably be a lot easier than this to use.